Here at the Super 80 with Mark L. Crawford, class of 2013, one of the hottest properties in the city of Memphis. Mark L., thanks for your time. How are you doing? Doing great, doing great. And you had a spectacular summer. Now, it hasn't necessarily translated to the rankings just yet. Some people would say that's a sign of disrespect, that you're underrated, that people are sleeping on you. Does that matter to you? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I think yeah, it is making my face because I know how hard I work, AAU program work. I mean, number two in the country. I mean, we should have some great players being the rankings, but I guess they just overlook and miss. So I do got to work in my high school season so I can get noticed. Speaking of which, you are going to be on an insanely talented team. You've got one of the best freshman classes coming in. You've had one of the best freshman classes last year. You're just a junior, and you're an old head on the team. What are your expectations? Get back to district, regional win state. Just to be a young team, I'll give me a two-peak. Sound is out of Dallas. Now, there's not going to be a lot of beef in the middle. So, do you envision that the team is going to go some more open post looks? What are you thinking this team is going to look like? Uh, probably, our, we got a strong guard play, so we can play inside out, but probably be outside in just to start off the uh, whole season until practice starts. Then we see how our big man do. Now, Adonis Thomas, of course, famously, the Melrose product, you got to watch and see everything that he did. And there were times when, hey, he would just have to take over a game. Maybe he'd have to go get the ball and bring it up court. Do you envision yourself having a similar role? Yeah. Uh, I think most of this season I had to take over the games, win games, put the team on my back. Are you ready for that? I mean, I've been ready for it. So, you've got a lot of colleges that are interested. Talk to us, first of all, uh, name some of the colleges who have been in contact and maybe have made offers. Uh, we got an offer from Florida. They got one from Tennessee Thursday. We got Southeast Missouri, Kent State, Auburn, Ole Miss. We got Syracuse talking to me, UConn. We got uh, South, Memphis, stuff, Georgia. Stuff like that. So have you begun to formulate a list of teams that you want to perhaps visit? Uh, I know I want, I want to take a visit down to Florida, uh, probably Syracuse, Ole Miss, right now. Okay. Officials or unofficial? So are you anywhere close to coming up with a list of target schools? Uh, what are you looking for in the school? What's it going to take to get on Markel Crawford's final five? Hard coach, hard team. Um, well, coach only going to play the toughest players. Not going to overlook the toughest players. And as talented as you are, I've got to imagine you've got aspirations beyond the college level. Is that accurate? Yeah. We would like to go to the NBA build or not, you know, just get some work to profit my family. So, what are you trying to do to prepare for that? Uh, what kind of work are you putting in? Extra hard work. Man. 6 a.m., 8 at night, every day. Man, that's pretty impressive. So, how many workouts do you do in a typical day? Uh, probably about three. But all on in the same day at school. So, throughout the school, and I had open gym, something like that, open period. I put the time in there. So, let's... Before we go, one more thing about this fall season coming up, even Melrose High School. If you don't make the state tournament, would you be disappointed? Would you think, okay, depending on how well you did in the district, that's okay? What are your goals for this team this year? Well, I think if we don't get the state championship, it'll probably be a big disappointment because, I mean, we're young, but we're talented and skilled for like any other team in the city. So, we're probably the toughest team in Memphis, so, in my opinion. So, not just to the state tournament, you really expect the state championship. Championship. But, let's say you get to the final four. Is that okay? Yeah, actually it is, but I, I, I'm not saying the final four. Probably my young guys are not here. Championship or bust? Championship. Well, hey, that's the attitude of a winner. Markel, we appreciate you. We're going to continue following you this fall, and we'll be back with you soon.